Now celebrating Jacksonville's bicentennial, one building anchored in downtown for nearly half of that time is behind one of Elvis Presley's most iconic looks. Elvis almost never got the chance to play at the Florida Theater. He headlined six shows here on August 10th and 11th in 1956. He did three concerts each day. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar tells us there was a big threat before he could even sing his first note. This stage at the Florida Theater has been graced by several legends since opening in 1927. Leonard Skinner, the band formed in Jacksonville, rocked the house here. So did other icons like Gladys Knight and Willie Nelson. But Florida Theater President Numa Saisalin says it was the performance by Elvis Presley before he became the king of rock and roll that came with immense pressure. It's famous because Marion Gooding, who was at that time the juvenile court justice in Jacksonville, summoned a young Mr. Presley to his offices and told him there would be no hip swiveling and no suggestive body movements. Some of the moves that Elvis was known for even early in his career that got fans riled up. There were reports of fans rushing toward Elvis during a concert in Jacksonville the year before. They tried to rip off pieces of his clothes, so Judge Gooding didn't want a repeat of that. He even threatened to arrest Elvis if he did and charge him with, quote, impairing the morality of minors. Gooding and a member of a group that petitioned to censor the performance were in attendance for the first show to make sure Elvis did not cross the line. By all accounts, he stood center stage, right on this stage, and performed his show straight, no moving around. But Scotty Moore, one of his band members, says that that's the night he started to sneer because he was so angry that he couldn't move that he developed that lip curl that we, you know, came to know with Elvis. Elvis sang hits like Hound Dog and Heartbreak Hotel, which was released earlier that year, a song written by a local teacher, May Axton, and Jacksonville-based singer-songwriter Tommy Durden. Heartbreak Hotel and Hound Dog were out, um, but he had not been on The Ed Sullivan Show. So he was famous and on his way to becoming Elvis in capital letters, but, you know, he was still a little bit of a, a country boy from Mississippi. Added to the list of historic performances at Florida Theater. Speaking of iconic performances in Jacksonville, the Beatles performed downtown nearly a decade later at what was then the Gator Bowl. It was the first integrated audience in the venue's history. It has since been demolished and replaced by what we now know as TIAA Bankfield. For this story and all our other stories celebrating Jacksonville's bicentennial, go to newsforjacks.com slash jacks200.